Hi teachers, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a Zoom link so that your students do not need to leave Schoology. We're going to adjust some important settings. I'm going to show you how to create a media album, and we're going to talk a little bit about organization. Let's go ahead and get started. I want to remind you that Schoology may look different from district to district. This is what my sample first grade class page looks like within my district. I've created this to help you. Here on this page you can see an image. The image and the clickable buttons are posted as an announcement. I'm going to show you how to do that in tutorial number four. I could even make this image clickable. Let's go ahead and click on one of these buttons. It will take the parent or the student to whatever link you have connected. As you can see, this is a parent form to ask questions. Let's go back to the main page. Let's go ahead and create a Zoom link. If you go down, you will see that my Zoom link has this icon, and this is the icon for an external tool. In my title, I have added the day and the time to help parents and students since the times vary for my week. To create this, I need to make sure that I have already created the meeting within my district Zoom account. I'm going to need the invite link. So let's go ahead and start creating this. I'm going to select add material, add file link and external tool. It's an external tool. I'm going to select this drop down menu and select Zoom meeting. I'm going to give it a title. Once I've added the title, I'm going to insert the URL. Let's go ahead and go to Zoom and see where you find this. You will see that here I have this invite link. I'm going to copy and paste that link. Do not paste the invitation, which is on the right. You need this URL. Now next, I'm going to be completely honest. I am not an expert at this. I have learned through trial and error. And the shared secret, I kind of thought was the passcode, and I've tried this both ways, and they both work. So here I'm going to enter my, pa enter my passcode, and then I'm going to click Submit. Now, if you go down, you will see that link that I've created is down here. Now, to move it, all I need to do is click it and drag it up. And I'd like to have mine at the top to make it easier. So now every morning my students can come right to here and it will open up for the students. Now sometimes you may get this private access notification. If you get that, that means, and I'm going to share an image of that, you need to adjust your settings when that happens. Let's go ahead and go to course options. You're going to edit the privacy and course settings. You're going to make sure, I'm going to click this all to no one. Originally, I had this course. Now remember, you have to change this within each course if you have multiple courses. And this is different than your, the settings underneath your name. This, these are settings for my sample first grade class. It was originally set to no one and I kept getting that private access. So if that happens, I'm going to go down to course and I want to make sure that the materials are viewable to the course and the updates. The roster, I don't think that really matters. If you want no one to see it, you want everybody in the course to see it. I'm going to select that the calendar is viewable to the course. And these settings, I make them for course admin. And I'm going to make sure that I select save changes. The next thing I want to show you how to do is create a media album. Well, a media album is exactly what it says. It's an album for students to share their videos and photos or work. I'm going to show you an example. And again, I teach first grade. I'm going to select this one here. And I don't create this activity in that media album. I assign this in the weekly folder. They upload it there, and then I eventually move it to this folder that says Media Albums. That way the students have a collection and have access to that, to the different media albums we've created. So here you'll see that everyone uploaded their, well not everyone, but almost everyone uploaded their David Goes to School craft that we did together over Zoom. So how do you do this? Let's go back 
We're going to go to Add Media Album. I'm going to give it a title. I'll make it the same as the David Goes to School. So now I've created a title. I've given it a des description. And down here, I can turn off or turn on if I want comments. I'm going to turn those off unless you want them to comment on each other's work. Here you need to make sure that the instructors and students can add media if that is your goal. If you want students to upload a photo of their work, you can you must select this. And published if you want it if you're working ahead, you want it unpublished. If you want to sign it now, you'll make sure that you publish it so that it's viewable to the students. And I'm going to select create. Here I can attach a sample photo for the students. I'm going to go ahead and select that from my computer. Then I'm going to select Add Media. And here is my sample for the students to see. And if you go to the gear, you will be able to edit your media, edit the information, delete an album if you'd like, or even copy it to a different course. I also want to show you how to move a file. So here this media upload showed up on my main page. Maybe you intended on putting it into this folder. So all I need to do is click the gear. I'm going to move it. I'll select August 31st and select move. Now it has been moved from this main page into August 31st. Well, there you go. I hope you found this one useful and hope that you create a media album for your students. The last thing I want to talk about is organization. Now, this will depend on the grade you teach and the way your mind works. Personally, I prefer to have a more streamlined look. So here, I'm going to click on August 31st. I'm going to share the way I create my assignments and it may or may not work for you. Within the folder of August 31st, I have an assignment for language arts, math, and I alternate science and social studies. Here you will see when I click on language arts, I have a list of things they must do. So once the day has passed, I will create a folder so that the parents don't get confused. They can also access the work if they have forgotten to do an assignment. I created a folder that says Monday, August 31st. Then after Monday has passed, I move it up to the top. I will move all of these into that folder. This is my last one. I'm going to select move August, Monday, August 31st and select move. On Tuesday, only Tuesday's assignments will be viewable. If they have forgotten to do something, they simply need to click on Monday to look for that assignment. Well, there you go. I hope you found this useful.